Hello guys and welcome back. So let's take a look at how we can actually uh, make the AI play that animation when the AI is you know looking around. Um, so to do that, the cheapest way is in the AI behavior we have here underneath the checking around. We can say uh, instead of waiting, right? Let's delete that waiting and say let's play that animation. Right? So there is actually a play animation task right here, and you can just choose that animation. Okay, so let me dock this guy here. You can just choose that animation we just imported in, right? The mannequin checking around. Save that. Now, if you go ahead and play this, you can see now the AI will actually play that animation, right? And then go to another place and play that animation. Okay, but you do realize that that animation it happens in a really abrupt way. It just snaps to that animation and snaps back, right? So that's not very cool. Um, so we wanted to have a smooth transition. Um, now you could imagine that you can use maybe a animation montage because the montage have the smoothing. Um, let's take a look at that. So that animation is actually, I think we uh, we put it somewhere. Oh, it's gonna be in the mannequin character uh, mesh right uh, here. So the checking around is the animation we have, okay? But you can see there's no setting for this guy to like blend, okay? Or whatever like that. Uh, but we can try to create a animation montage, okay? So I'm gonna go create asset and create animation montage right here. Right? And we can put it into maybe the animations, right? Call this guy AM animation montage look around and hit ok so this is going to create a montage like this uh, go to the asset browser you can see it's a new uh, animation montage asset uh, currently it doesn't have anything we can then drag in our check around animation to the uh, to the to the slots right now we can play this animation you can see it's playing that uh, animation montage does have the blending options, right? blending in and blending out, and how long do you want them to be? Okay, and for animation montage to work, you have to also use a slot. Basically, it's telling where that animation montage will be played, because you have this animation blueprint, right? And for now, it's just using the default state machine. Uh, so when you want to play animation montage, you're gonna tell it to where to play that. Uh, you need a slot somewhere inserted. Right into the animation graph, so I'm gonna create a slot here, and it's now using a sl uh, default slot. And that's something we can use, uh, but we can also say let's add a slot here, and I can call this guy AI slot. Okay, and then I can change this guy to the AI slot and drag this in there and drag this in there, and compile and save. So whenever you call any animation montage. It's gonna play that on its corresponding slot, which is, you know, in our case, you know, we have one slot here in the entire animation graph, which is called AI slot. So it's gonna to try to find if there is an AI slot somewhere in the logic of this animation graph. If there is, it's gonna play there, right? And anything connected to the input of the slot will be temporarily blended into the animation montages animation. And when that animation is done, then blend back to the whatever that is the input. Okay. So that's what that animation montage is. So here in our animation montage, uh, yeah, we're, we're working on this animation montage, right? So let's double click on that. We can change that slot to AI, so that's the corresponding AI. Anyway, so anytime we want to play this animation montage in the coding, that code will then try to look for this slot called AI and play there and temporarily blend from default to the uh, look around and when local run is over, blend back to default, right? Uh, that means you can have multiple slots, you can catch things together, you can build a really complicated animation graph, but that's off the topic, right? We're doing AI. So if you're interested in it, you can look for our, our engine's official uh, uh, animation tutorial, or I probably will have some later on too. Uh, but yeah, so that's gonna be the slot part. Okay, so here, back to the checking around, we can then say, Instead of playing the animation, let's try to try to play that animation montage, right? Save this. All right, now we can go ahead and play. You can see, however, the animation will still snap to that pose, and even worse, you cannot do it, 
go to actually the default post and then play that right that's even worse so instead of doing that we kind of want to say okay that's not working let's find another way right so we're having this animation montage now in order to make the animation montage to be played smoothly you kind of wanted to do that in the coding instead of trying to ask the play animation to do that so we actually need a task let me go ahead and delete that i'm going to create a new task use the blueprint base and i can go back and call this new task um, this new task we created to BT task uh, play montage. Okay, then open that. I need to have a variable here, and this variable will be a. Oh, let's actually do override that function first. I'm gonna override the receive execute AI. Right. Do that. Okay. And I'm going to drag out the controller pawn and I'm going to cast it to the uh, character so that we can get the mesh and then we can play montage. Right? Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, play montage. And then we can choose a montage. And then I can drag out there and then promote it to variable. That way I don't have to specify the type. Let's call this a uh, montage to play. And turn that on. Save this. Compile this. Okay. So now we're playing the montage, and here we can default it to our local run for now. Right, so we don't have to specify it if we don't want it to. Okay. So this is asking the skeletal match to play the montage. Okay. And then we, if we do this finish execution here after the execution pin, you see that it's gonna uh, turn off right away because you know that's gonna be an instant finish, right? Instead of doing that, we're gonna say instead of doing this right away, we, we can say when the animation montage is completed or somehow bleed out or interrupted, uh, that's where we wanted to finish the execution of this part. Okay, let me compile and save this. Now we have a new specifically created task to play that animation montage. Let's go back and go back and do the checking around and this time let's do our own task called play montage and here it's already looking around so I'm good with that. Let's go ahead and play this animation uh, the game. You can see now the AI will play the animation montage with blending. You can see it's blending right? It feels much better. Okay and we can determine like how much we're blending uh, in the animation montage. Uh, uh, so if we go for the animation montage looking around, we can say we can blend for one second or so and blend out for one second. Okay, let me, let me save this. Now if we go ahead and play, we'll have a much longer blending time. Right. Uh, that's probably too much of a blending time. So I kind of like the what I have earlier, so 0.25 would be fun actually. Anyway. So just to show you what this can do, right? So uh, that's why we need to create like our own um, animation, our own task to do that. Okay, so let's stop the video here and moving on to the next. I'm gonna show you how we can actually bring this feature, right, this functionality into our old guard behavior tree because we kind of wanted to do what the guard is doing, but just wanted to the guard to look around when they cannot see us. So let's do that in the next